Hello. Crazy Rebecca here, dances with pit bulls. How y'all doing? I'm doing good. Today, we are going to make, we're going to make some of these feathers, but not a little one like this. We're going to make bigger ones. And then when I, if I have some stuff left over, we'll make some little ones too, which I'll have stuff left over. You know, I will, cause I got stuff, man. Okay. The website is, try typing that in your search or just paper feathers and then that word. And you will get a big, I, I did this wrong. I tried printing from like the picture thing, you know, with, so this is what printed out, but really it prints out, you know, on a sheet of paper like this. So that's where I got my pattern. You don't even really need a pattern if you know what a feather looks like. So what you're going to need is some wire. I'm using my 20 gauge wire because that's what I have. Also, you need some sheet music or book pages or whatever you want to make your feathers out of. It don't matter. You need your tacky glue and you need a pair of scissors. These are not optimal for cutting the feathers. You might want a smaller pair, but this is what I have. This is what I'm going to do it with. Op also optional, some distress ink. I've been using my charcoal pencil to outline and color and stuff. So let us begin. Yes. All right, take your tacky glue. Make a line on your music paper. And put your wire on the line of glue. Repeat for second wire. You will have something like that. You may have to fuss with it, you know, spread it out a little. Take your second piece of paper and just put it right down on top of it. Smooth it out. Oops, now see, I don't have very much wire sticking out the bottom, so yeah, adjust as needed, because you want to have a stem, <laughs> I don't know what it's called on a feather, a shaft, or quill part, I don't know. Okay, so you put this over to dry. This is one that's been drying. And you'll notice I took my pattern. You can feel the wire and you put the, like she's got it marked where the wire should be and you trace around it on both sides. And then you cut it out and you'll notice in my haste, I started cutting this out without you, of course. cannot tell you how happy I am to have a day off of work. <laughs> I am such an introvert and I have been thrust among people 
for the past three weeks. I need some serious alone time. So then you have this. Now, what I did, I took my, my this thing and my this thing and I colored the paper, the feather and it will darken that center thing. See it? But you don't have to, you do not have to do that. Now the, this is the tricky part. This is the trickiest part of the whole thing. You make little tiny cuts all the way down to the wire. Let the wire stop your scissors. And you want to be at an angle. See, I this was the first one I did after many years. So, you know, this side's way bigger and now this is trying to separate and practice makes perfect people. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to be goofy or do it you know how you think it should be done and if it ain't right it don't matter hit don't matter Ooh, I'm almost done with this side awesome You know, this is something you could do sitting in front of TV. Get them all ready and then make yourself comfortable because this takes the longest of it, all of it. All right, check it out. Now her instructions say You're going to have leftovers, so it's okay. To take a piece like this, I think it's all, you know, what are you going to use it for? Whether you want to do this step or not. So it just finishes it a little. So let's do one of these. I'm not going to color it. So find out where your top of your thing is and that's your starting place. These could be your coup feathers. <laughs> Go out and touch an enemy. <laughs> Go touch an enemy and reward yourself with a coup feather. 
<laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I'm trying to think who my enemies are right now. I don't think I really have any anymore. I probably do. <laughs> I just refuse to refuse to admit it. Make up an enemy. <laughs> Choose somebody at work to be your enemy and touch them. <laughs> Don't tell them why. <laughs> and then come home and reward yourself. <laughs> and then show up at work with a feather in your hair. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know you should really never listen to me, right? I don't know. I think it would be funny. So who could I who could I touch at work that wouldn't expect it? Maybe Tom Tom. <laughs> they say, Why is she touching me? Your your employee touched me. Oh no. I trimmed it. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a thing. Bird feathers ain't perfect. You know, if you find a perfect bird feather, you know, I'm really proud of you. Okay, get these out of the way. So, what can we do with these? Thinking you can make mobiles with them. You can put them on dream catchers. You can use them for bookmarks, sorta, kinda. Well, I didn't do very good on this side. Yuck. Must pay better attention. And be sure and make some little ones. So I think I have some I have something to show you. Maybe. I'll be right back. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. It's a hair fascinator or a hair piece, whatever, and it's made from three big music feathers, music paper feathers, and then these I think were from a King James Bible that was falling apart, these little ones, so Bible pages. I made this for the Iroquois County Fair, the uh, recycled uh, category. I didn't win, but that's okay. There's a lot of competition in that category, and I knew that going into it. So here's my thing when I do the fairs, I enter like 20 things. So I know that I'm going to at least probably win at least one, but it usually works out way better than that for me. But I'm not bragging or anything, but you know, yeah. Okay. So, while I was looking for that, and I glued some more feathers and stuff, and then I just took the time to go ahead and cut them. So, let me show you what I came up with. I got these, the ones that I colored. I got the one, plain ones in the bigger size. Then I made some wee ones. Then I made some black ones. And this paper was rather hard to cut for some reason. It's handmade paper. Got it at the art co-op in Urbana. So yeah. So go make some feathers. See with this 20 gauge, you can you can 
bend it like that. That would be so easy to hang it off of something. Oh my gosh. You can make little ones and make earrings. Little, even littler than this. Yeah. I'm getting all kinds of ideas now. So. What we have here is number 32. 32. And number 32 is feathers from music sheets, music mm, papers, because I didn't write that right. Okay, music papers and wire. Why? Oh my gosh. Ugh. <laughs> Feathers. Yes. Paper feathers. So, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I need friends to show my cool stuff to. I already got a lot of cool friends and I love you all. So please like and comment and come back because, you know, I'm almost a third of the way done. Ha! Huh. You never thought I'd get this far, did you? You know, I really, really have to avoid thrift stores, craft aisle at Walmart. Yes, I just, I have to avoid it. I'm doing good, and I'm making stuff. I'm slowly using my stuff up, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you next time.